Business failures show us that innovation and improvement are essential for businesses to fit customers' needs and succeed. We can find the concept of continuous improvement in the clause 10.3 of the standard ISO 9001. Specifically, this clause states that the organization must continually improve the suitability, adequacy and effectiveness of the quality management system. To implement this requirement, we have two approaches, the traditional one proposed by Deming and the Japanese one in the form of Kaizen. Starting with Deming's proposal, continuous improvement consists of a cycle known as the continuous improvement cycle, the Deming cycle or the PDCA cycle that refers to the improvement phases plan, do, check and act. In the plan phase, you can identify problems or areas for improvement. Define the activities of the improvement project to estimate its duration and cost. Get support and resources from stakeholders. And estimate the expected results in order to recognize the benefits of the project. In some cases, the do phase requires the design of prototypes and perform concept tests in order to validate the effectiveness of the improvement project. It is also important to create awareness among the staff by showing the benefits of the improvement project. During this phase, it is important to gather information and measure the results obtained during the tests. In the check phase, you evaluate the achievement of the objectives through the information obtained during the previous phase. Then, you decide whether the project is viable, and in case you go ahead with the project, make the necessary corrections to the original plan. ACT involves a complete and permanent deployment, and to train staff in the use of new methods, machinery and or materials. On the other hand, Kaizen presents the philosophy of constant and permanent improvement. The word consists of the kanji change and good, this model of continuous improvement is characterized by the idea of no hurry, no pause, and it is implemented throughout the company. No matter the size of the upgrade, if every day we take a step in the right direction, we will be closer and closer to perfection. Finally, every day without improvement is a lost day. Let's look at the graph to get more clarity on the differences between the Deming's Continuous Improvement Cycle approach and the Kaizen. On screen, each improvement project represents an increase in the performance of the organization. However, while the next project is carried out, the organization experiences a small decrease in performance. On the other hand, we have the improvement through Kaizen. There are no radical jumps in performance as in the case of improvement through projects, but there's also no setbacks over time. To further understand the differences between the two approaches, let's look at a comparative table. In the traditional model, the improvement is done by working on projects, while Kaizen poses a daily effort. Traditional improvement focuses on results, and Kaizen is more focused on processes and activities. The Deming cycle requires setting well-defined goals for each project. However, the Kaizen, having no defined deadline, has unknown results. The PDCA improvement cycle promotes participation by areas of the company, but Kaizen is an effort in which the entire company participates. Finally, continuous improvement projects can be implemented immediately. However, the Japanese model requires a greater maturity level because its implementation is more complex. Analyzing the differences between the two continuous improvement models, which one do you consider the most suitable for your organization? As always, I would like to receive your comments. 